Hey, it's Danny here. So, I have been vegan for around six years and I've had a beef burger for around seven years. And you're all gonna get to see me eat a burger that is made from beef and is grass-fed, really high quality beef. And it's got, with the patty, it's a homemade bun that they made themselves, which is really, really good. I'm always trying to source the highest quality stuff since I started eating animal food. And it's got stack sauce on it, lettuce, tomato, red onions, cheddar, pickle, and black sesame bun. And I doubled it up because I'm super hungry. And yeah, we've also got the wedges on the side, which, yeah. And some coleslaw, I'm actually gonna put that on here. And man, that beef, oh my God. I used to love beef burgers. I used to eat garbage ones, like corn fed, grain fed, soy fed, which is just making them be really high in omega-6, very low in omega-3, causing inflammation really bad for you. So what I'm gonna do is put the cold saw on top, like so, done, done, done. I don't know how I'm gonna fit this in my mouth, I'm not, am I? It's gonna be an ice saw. Oh, they do a burger challenge here, but there's no way I'm doing that. Oh, not oil there. Wow. Oh my god. That is like, from my memory of eating beef in the past, that this has got so much flavour, the patty. Like, wow. Oh, I love the texture of the beef. I tried Impossible Burgers and Beyond Burgers, which are like plant-based ones in Singapore. You see that video, you can link up above. But, I said in that video, it tastes like a real meat burger. But I hadn't eaten meat for so long, so my memory of what meat was, wasn't right because this is way more fatty, way more chewy, way more meaty, like the fossil burger and beyond burger don't taste like this at all. It's way more dense, it's way more chewy. I could just eat those patties on their own. Like, they taste so good. I could literally want to meal them. Yeah, look, look, I can't really fit uh, my mouth over. Oh, and this is the first meat that I've tried. I've tried eggs recently. Mmm. And the reason why I've got it like this is, well, the steak here, because it's grass fed, it costs like about triple the prices, and I'm not justifying that. I've got loads of grass fed beef and that being sent to my house. So I'm not gonna be eating junk food like this all the time. We're like traveling at the moment, and this is all I can really get access to. Mm. I hear so many vegans say that there's good vegan bones. There are, but it just can't compare them to this. So it's good it's being created, but yeah. And to be honest, when it's high quality grass fed pasture raised, antibiotic free, hormone free beef, it's actually more nutrient dense for you and healthier for you than these junk food vegan burgers. My body is singing. If you haven't seen the egg video, I'll link it up above. You can check that out. Very egg for the first time. And if you want to see me eat any other animal products for the first time, after not eating them since being vegan, let me know down below. I'm sure I sort that video out for you.
but yeah, every new thing I'm going to try that I haven't before that's animal based that I've had for years, I'll make a video for each one. And if you want me to do a follow up video talking about how I felt the rest of the day after this and the following days, let me know down below. There is stuff that my body really needs in this. The high amount of omega-3, the high quality protein. And all the minerals and everything else, it's so much harder to get in vegan foods. But yeah, most people are eating like factory farm meat, which will just taste like garbage. And it's so toxic for you, full of antibiotics, and God knows what else. This is an ex vegan in heaven. Yeah, very good. Thank you, Cup. Good Cup. Very friendly way up. See the food's good. So, yeah, from what I can remember of burgers, this is the best burger that I've ever eaten in my life. I just used to eat like McDonald's burgers and Burger King burgers, which are the worst. Yeah, if you want to check this place out, it's Stacked Burger in Costa Mary, Thailand. Mm. Sorry if there's any wind noise, there's fans about, it's quite hot, so... Yeah, all I can mostly taste is the beef because it's that strong in taste, like really, really strong. It's like all I care about taste-wise in this is the burger patty. The other stuff's nice, but it's overpowering everything, which isn't a bad thing, it's a good sign that it's high quality. And to all the haters out there, I'm sorry but I'm my number one priority. I was on driving on a vegan diet for around three months. And I've been ups and downs on my vegan journey here and there and everywhere. I'm running into certain symptoms and other issues that I hadn't had before when I wasn't vegan. So I wouldn't say the vegan diet is like bad for everyone, but it's a diet that I've seen people fail on the most time and time again. I see like so many weak, malnourished vegans, like from left, right and centre. Um, I'm not hanging on them, but it's like their hormone production is messed up. They're eating very, like, nutrient void. Even whole foods, because most of the whole foods are grown in very depleted soil. And if the nutrients aren't in the soil, it's not in the food, it's not going to go in you. Watch, watch that in the movie, a documentary, and you can learn more about that if you want to. And yeah, I remember when I used to eat meat, I used to get a like constipation. But, 
One, if you're eating meat full of antibiotics, it's destroying your gut microbiome and having negative effects on your whole digestion and assimilation and elimination. But, you know how to resolve that? Chewing it very, very thoroughly. Enzyme production and, yeah, digestion first starts in the mouth, like literally. I just learned recently, I can't remember the name, but I'll make a video on it soon. Us humans, yes, us humans, they have found cholesterol, well, enzymes in our saliva that breaks down cholesterol. And people say, well, you're not meant to eat that dietary cholesterol, it's not good for you, body proofs at home, well, why would it have the enzyme in your mouth? I think we're meant to eat all types of whole foods, fruits, vegetables, green leafy vegetables, berries, like nuts that are like raw, organic, and pasteurized, and meats and fish and so on. So we can get a wide variety of nutrition. And for me, I've been living in Thailand for years now, four years. Almost all the vegetables are from China. Look into information how toxic the produce is, what it's sprayed with, how much around the food is messed around with. So I, Could we thrive on a vegan diet if we had a wide variety of foods that were the most nutrient dense possible? Yeah, quite likely. But if you look into like oranges, like compared to like 40 years ago, research has shown it's about 10 times less than vitamin C. And they've done this with other foods as well, test them. And compare the nutritional value to a long time ago. Yeah. Now, since we've been eating these animal foods, guess what? I don't need to eat nowhere near as much food as I used to on a vegan diet. Especially when I was eating like one meal a day, I'd eat like five or six main dishes. Which is costing me so much money. And a lot of time I eat vegan foods, unless it's like vegan junk food, it's really stimulating. I don't normally really enjoy it. It doesn't feel like it's giving me what I need. So, because it's so nutrientless, I have to always eat until I was like up to my neck with food, rather than just eat until I was satiated. When the food is more nutrient dense, you get satiated way sooner and you won't eat until you're stuck. It's not healthy to keep doing that. I think it would massively shorten my lifespan more energy for my body to use to digest yeah. I'm still doing it more fast again give my body time to process and eliminate it I'm not strict carnivore or anything like that I'm missing to my body so instead of making a follow-up video I'm actually gonna tell you how I'm feeling now so just like stop being distracted from making the footage for you to watch right now and just being in tune with my body sitting still and man I just in a state of so much gratitude and appreciation that's not forced that's happened naturally I just feel this intense feeling of happiness so I keep smiling and I just feel so so amazing 
outside my body's going, yes, thank you so much for giving me what I actually need. I never feel like that after any vegan food in the past at all. Unless you give me something that's really stimulating me, loads of stuff in that induces that response within you. I feel that my mood is being boosted. I feel uplifted. I feel like, wow, like, I don't feel heavy afterwards. And I just thought about it, right? Normally when I normally finish eating vegan food, I feel like 80 to 90 to 100% capacity for what I was thinking about in like capacity percent wise. And do you know how full I feel now? I feel 10% full, but I feel 100% satiated. If I had 10% fullness with a vegan diet, I would feel like 0% satiated. I'd need to keep going and going and going and going and going. So I actually feel like this when I've been feeling like crap for three months on a vegan diet, man. This is something else. And that's why I'm spreading the message on it because people need to know about this. So many of these weak man Irish vegans that aren't thriving. I mean, I'm back home where I'm living, like I have been, whilst starting to try some of these things. When I'm back there, I'm not going to be eating like any processed stuff like this. Band delivery company that can deliver the most highest quality grass with pasture raised stuff. And I just ordered so much of it so it's going to come to my house and get the best quality. So I'm going to end it there because you don't want to see me eat. Wedges, some people might like. So yeah, after actually paying attention to the wedges, after I ended the video, which it's not going to be ending right now, I was just paying attention to the taste. The beef just makes it taste like crap. It doesn't taste like alive with like nutrition, like crazy. So yeah, I'm going to skip them. I leave them. I only got them because they come with it. Yeah, we'll cut it there. So, any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, or even unsubscribe. I don't care. If you want to unsubscribe, unsubscribe. If you want to subscribe and see more from me, just stay tuned. So, yeah, catch you on the flip side. Peace.